Phosphorus is the most widespread pollutant in Wisconsin waters. According to the Department of Natural Resources' WISCOM guidelines for listing waters as impaired, total phosphorus samples must be taken once a month from May through October. Samples cannot be collected less than 15 days apart. Try to space sampling times as close to 30 days apart as possible. For this test, you will need one 250 milliliter polyethylene bottle, one milliliter vial of sulfuric acid, gloves, safety goggles, a waterproof pen or marker, a lab slip specific to your sampling site, waders or shoes that can get wet, or an extension pole with rubber bands if sampling is to be done from the shore, a cooler, and two one-gallon Ziploc bags of ice for storage of your sample. When gathering the total phosphorus sample, avoid disturbing the area from which the sample is being taken by approaching the area from downstream. That is, when walking in the stream, walk upstream to your sample collection site. Be sure to collect your sample in a part of the stream with thorough mixing of waters. Avoid collecting surface water as this water is not a good indicator of the actual water conditions of the area. To avoid contamination of the sample, do not touch the inside of the bottle or cap and place the cap upside down on the ground or have someone else hold it when it is not in use. Be sure that you are not collecting your sample immediately downstream of a wastewater treatment plant or storm sewer discharge point. On the 250 milliliter sample bottle, circle the word nutrients with your waterproof marker and write the field number and sample location on the designated spaces on the bottle. Invert your bottle and dip it into the stream. When the bottle is three to six inches below the surface of the water, turn it right side up and remove it from the water. Cap the bottle and shake it. Dump out this water and repeat the rinsing process two more times. Repeat the process a fourth time, this time only dumping out enough water such that the sampling bottle is filled to the shoulder. On shore, put on your gloves and safety glasses. Add the one milliliter vial of sulfuric acid to the sample to preserve it. Cap the bottle and invert it repeatedly to ensure thorough mixing of the sample. The sulfuric acid vial can then be rinsed and recycled at home. Take another sample in approximately 30 days. Whenever possible, and especially when stream flow is swift or water levels are high, fasten the bottle to an extension pole and use that to collect stream water that is well mixed. Once the bottle is attached to the pole, remove its cap. To avoid contamination of the sample, do not touch the inside of the bottle or cap. When you are filling the bottle, carefully hold on to the cap or else place it upside down on the ground or have someone else hold on to it. Like when sampling from within the stream, you should collect the sample by inverting the bottle and dipping it into the stream until it is 3 to 6 inches below the surface of the water. Then turn it right side up and remove it from the water. Cap the bottle and shake it. Dump out this water and repeat the rinsing process two more times. Repeat the process a fourth time, 
this time only dumping out enough water so that the sampling bottle is filled to the shoulder. Be careful not to disturb the bottom sediments when collecting the sample. Once the sample is collected, follow the same steps as previously described to acidify the sample. In low flow situations, you will be provided with a syringe to collect the water sample. Facing upstream, rinse the syringe three times before using it to collect the final sample. The sample bottle must be rinsed as well, but you can use the rinse water from the syringe to wash out the sample bottle. Remember to cap and shake the bottle during each rinse. After rinsing the syringe, the syringe will need to be filled at least four times in order to fill the sample bottle to the shoulder. Avoid contamination of the sample bottle or cap during the sampling process by setting them off to the side and by placing the cap top side down when removed from the bottle. The syringe is intended for single use, so please recycle it after the sampling event. Follow the preservation method as you would for a stream sample taken by bottle or sampling pole. Please contact the statewide coordinator if you have any questions.